Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to another Hero Factory review. And today's of which is on uh, Alpha Team 2.0 from 2011. And so of course, as the first four, which were in the last wave of which, and two all new for this wave. Which, but same casters, but let's look at one of them. So as you see. This caster, same as from the last wave, first wave of which, but no matter which one it is, they all have orange lids. Which, same thing with 3.0 with all lime green lids. Not sure why, but whatever. Probably just fit the theme of fire to them. Since, of course, have the character that there is with some explosions to that, well suiting to the Nickelodeon episode. And in the age range and set number and amount of pieces, and also how they have around 30 to 31 pieces, of which almost double that of last way. So, same price, but a little more to it, of which great for that. So, these were a big turning point for them. And as the Hero Factory symbol, and also kind of split thing there with the regular background with Hero Factory there, of course, and also get a code to an online game. And also HeroFactory.lego.com, of course. And sadly, on these boxes, no more tribute to Bionicle like 1.0 did. Kind of sad, quite sad, but whatever. And on the back, which you see the him and also a di another hero set and how they make combination models. First time ever had that since 2006 Paraka for that, but which in a minute I'll show. But you see the instructions were a little different for that. You see actual size of the hero core, of course. But as for, but also a little thing different than the first wave is have a little code on them that you can enter on the online game, of course. To the instruction manual of one thing, which is the same pictures on the front of the box and everything. It is on the back how to win on the online survey, evil wing kid, and then add of Lego Club and add for Hero Recon team, which was coming spring 2011, of course. And of course, great, awesome thing it was where you can make your own heroes and ship them home, and of course. And of course, the chest plate piece shown here which stay exclusive to that, but nowadays you can buy it separate on BrickLink, of course. But besides that, still, I wish they would have continued it for the rest of Hero Factory, but at least it was still awesome. And then add for the combination model again, but gotta go online to get the instructions. So unlike how in Bonacle, where you just had, where it was in the instruction booklets, but whatever. And then last of which are the pieces that come with the set and the last building steps. And then also how you register the uh, code to on the online game called Creep Crushers. So start out with Furno 2.0. So as you can see that they wish so much different than 1.0 of course since of course this wave of which was the very first to introduce what we call the character creature building system or ccbs system which if you look from the back part of which as where it's not at all any pins and axles all about the ball joints whereas like, as you see there's two different types of limb pieces to it like you see, like three ball joints in the center, or one in the center. Of that. And you see, one has a quite open ball joint, and one has a closed ball joint. And of course. And also the armoring, which is, comes in different sizes, is as you can see. Whereas Furnals, which has done quite opposite to that. And 
And of course, a little indent on them is how you see the size of it. So in his case, it's size 5 and size 3 ones. But they are in different sets, of course. Different sizes in different sets, of course. But whereas, but whereas with them, it's a much cheaper, richer plastic compared to the other ones, of course. And whereas the feet of which, which were used for so many sets. And of course, they were the first to use these pieces. Although some said they were kind of a clown shoe like look to it, but I think it's quite fine to it. Like, you know, do get a few good pins and pin axle connections. And let's see what was also new to it. But also, with some of the sets had, and of course, they in some sets had these printed Hero ID pieces. So that often say their names in the 2.0 thing, but in 3.0 also did, but in a specific color to them. But in Breakout and all, didn't have that at all. You know, and then, as for like the chest area with, or the torso area, which comprised of mainly this all new body piece. It's, it's very thin, and of course, a lot of ball joints around, and of course, to cover it was with the chest plate that is in three pieces, like this under one that goes like that. But although in the Nickelodeon episodes and things, or miniseries, of course, it like goes all the way around, of course. And now this top part of which, that's like, goes on as well. And then to the hero cores, of which no longer translucent, and they're just a little bit smaller. I still wish it would have been translucent, but whatever. And also, with, with are the new hand pieces, of which kind of similar to the previous hand pieces, but instead of like three fingers, instead it's four fingers, and also has a hollow space in it. Although I think they should have kept the bolting in it like the previous ones did. But as we're at Ferno and a few other sets of which don't even get a second hand piece, but instead has the more traditional uh, hand piece, but way more reinforced. But then they don't break off as easily as the ones from 2008 Fantoka sets did. Well, also Mystica and Glatorians. And also you get this neat new shield piece, which is kind of like a mix of like Mystica uh, Battelle's wing pieces with an Anika shoulder blade, and you can insert little rod, uh, lightsaber rods into it. And also, another thing with this system, these holes of which are just for that kind of thing. So at least it was, I guess they were trying to branch off from Bonacle ways. And also with a few sets of which do, did come with the, these new blade pieces is that are, can be put in different ways and a few different attachments to it. And also oftentimes in the Nickelodeon miniseries, they oftentimes had them right on their backs. But since of course they people everyone was often bummed about their not being any like armoring on the back of which, but at least till they fixed that with breakout, of course. But, and on to the heads of which, which are three separate pieces. Do you get this uh, an actual headpiece, which some say kind of similar to the Montanui robot's headpiece, that and of course had the same connection point to it, and the socket joint, which a little different but still functions like any other kinds. And get the visor thing, but where Furnos here in particular, uh, which does have a little scoping up kind of thing to it, which some say kind of funny to that, but although you can kind of flip it around and he has a visor, which like he did the year before, and it has this little cap piece, so that goes over the whole thing. Although in the Nickelodeon episodes, it 
or mini series. It kind of goes like that, but you need special axle or rods to get it to do that. But of course, in 3.0, uh, Savage Planet Wave, they did make it just one piece for that. But yeah. And what else? I think Ferno could have had some extra armor bits to this arm as well. But I'm sure you can modify that if you wanted. But yeah. I guess that is it with him. And let's see. And now on to Natalie Breeze, or Breeze 2.0. And then her ID thing, just in on the leg. And of course, has a whole ton of the three long armor pieces. And still sticking to the uh, second color red, of course. And also, they of which were also the first to bring out the these little spiky new pieces to that. But also in different colors. But except at this point, to, of which first time uh, in different colors. And also used in other sets, except for the Crystal King and Power Miners, of course, which were in gray. But now they're in different colors in this way, of course. And for her weapons, as same piece as most of the others did, but it's in gunmetal gray instead of silver. And the other weapon of which, saw blade kind of thing, which of course Next 2.0 also has. So, and as for her visor thing, of which does have some lower guarding to it, and also visor and these fin things on the back of which, kind of interesting, and a lot of exposure from the back. And also, I think, so, so do you have this extra long armor, large armor piece, which a couple other sets have, which what we'll probably call the large size armor piece, since it's a little large to be a size 5 armor, of course. And if I were to guess why not much armor to the arms in the small ones is probably to make her or less bulky since she's the only female of all. And that is it for Breeze. And now on to uh, Stormer 2.0. So as you see, he has a whole lot of the size 5 armor pieces, of course. And his ID batch thing is also on the arm, which some of the others also did. And it, unlike the others, he does have this actual tube piece, which kind of similar to that of both Glatorian Legend Vastus and Meltdown's armor pieces, or tube pieces, where they were usually in like light green and regular green, but now in uh, but now in blue. Quite cool. Yeah. But of course, eventually, same thing with the smaller ones, but in purple for that. And also, same a shield piece and things as Ferno 2.0 did, but which he and Evo both have are these uh, Lego castle spear pieces, but instead of being solid plastic, they're actually soft bendy rubber. Or kind of interesting, probably more for which I think they probably did for some safety reasons. Uh, not sure if they were used outside of Hero Factory or whatever. If you know if they were outside of Hero Factory, comment below. But also, whereas, what he and some other hero sets also have are these other uh, limb pieces, kind of similar to the others, but just without, but a little shorter and without a ball joint in them. And also with his headgear piece, which only one that has an extra accessory piece to it, and in this case, a Baraki eye piece in the orange color for that. And also with Stormer, which he was a little bit taller than the other hero sets since he the only one to use these kind of uh, limb pieces is then to have a hole in them, axle hole in them. Whereas unlike the others, which other villain sets have that, but although Raka 3.0 in the winter wave or summer wave also had that, but Stormer 3.0 didn't either. But yeah. I think they probably did this to show that he leader and all. But what I kind of don't understand is 
for his, there are two kinds of torso pieces. His, which is a narrower length one, when most of them have this, uh, just thinner and without the ball joints. I think this torso piece should have been with Breeze, and this one should have been with Stormer. Or since, of course, the thinner kind would make her a little bit more, or feminine, or whatever. Uh, but besides that, Stormer, a quite good version of him. It kind of lives up to his other versions, of course. And last of which, the last remaining one from the previous wave being a Surge 2.0, which who some kind of saw as like, like as probably as the sniper of all, since his weapons of which being this shooter or a black or a gun, of course, where the prize had that same piece as the last few hero sets that we looked at, also had, and also this uh, gun barrel underneath which EVO 2.0 in this wave also does. And you see, same piece as Breeze did, and also same fin piece that some of the other heroes have, but in light green, of course. So kind of similar color scheme as his last version, but instead of trans yellow, it's regular light green, of course, which uh, Surge Breakout also had that as a second color, of course. But although it does have some bit of white to him, of course, and quite light. Also, I would love this, like, a visor piece, kind of similar to Stormers, but although it does feel kind of close to Kopaka of Bonacle, of course. And from the back of which, not so much exposure on, but just from his limbs, but although the back of which, still plenty of exposure. And of course, in the Nickelodeon miniseries episode, points this up and shoots it, and of course, releases a fireworks, of course, to celebrate the upgrade. And that is it, the Surge. And now, first one of the uh, new entries in this wave being Nex 2.0, or as now, or referred to as Julius Nex. See, just like. Uh, Breeze did is a whole lot of the like armor or size 3 armor pieces of course and plenty of orange to it like the orange color of course and also hand piece in orange so which great for mocking of course and also secondary color of green and for the same for the spiky piece and also for the core and head and as for his headgear, which do kind of bit like, like, as it's got saw blade and clip for whatever reason, and of course good mouth guard piece to it. And same thing as and same as Ferno also did, and Stormer also did. Not at all any armor on this arm, although I think, I think a size five armor piece could have been here and on this arm of course which would have been much better but whatever and if look from the back see quite a lot of exposure except for one arm of course kind of odd and also same exact thin torso as stormer also did and, and of course but although next in breakout also had into this kind of whole gear going on but except it was part of the helmet instead of as a separate piece of course which is kind of interesting and for his weapon of which but same piece as Ferno and some others also had but also same pieces that same one that Breeze also did have I guess Breeze was kind of a leftovers one or something and of course double blades or double saw blades and thing yeah. which is kind of cool I think and there's of course his armor ID thing on the leg just like what the breeze also did have and yeah that is it next and now on to Evo or rather Nathan Evo 
be quite in but also the color scheme quite interesting with yellow and gunmetal and accent of purple which we don't see very often in lego of course but just kind of nice to see it here as well and see, see the ied thing kind of and also on the leg, like, like next and Eve, next and Breeze, but instead of it's on the other leg, of course. And also he in this wave only want to have the size four armor pieces, of course. And also the same gun barrel piece as Surge had, and also the Lego Castle minifig spears, but in bendy kind, of course. Also like Stormer, and unlike with the other set, the witch, which does have a bit of armor on the other arm, of course, which is great for that. And although in the first wave of which they, the big large weapons were kind of molded as the arms and hollow arms, not only limb pieces to it, but this wave of which it is made of extra limb pieces, which major plus. And of course, hero core piece that is in purple, of which, of which, nice for mock, great for mocking, of course. And as for his visor, of which, as it has an inventing to it, which some people kind of thought was similar to that of Darth Vader, but not much. But Darth Vader's, of which, is in a single place, and his is two separate ones. And this bit, yeah. And it also do have the shorterish limb pieces. Like Surge and Stormer both had. And from the back of which, not still exposure. Sure, but yeah. Let's get these out on here. And we'll call it the final verdict. Overall, this I think is a quite cool wave of Hero Factory. Well, even though this wave was, of course, the first to introduce the CCBS system, which got used for so many sets. So, and of course, this wave, first time of introducing Julius Nex and Nathan Evil, of course, which in the next wave also did the same with Rocka, uh, of course. But that's all another video. And of course, it's kind of odd how they got upgraded in one wave rather than every other wave, which Bonacle kind of did. And of course, but also quite nice to see different versions of them as well. And of course, and of course, major improvement over Hero Factory 1.0 of having double the amount of pieces for the same price, obviously. And of course, this carried with uh, Hero Recon team, obviously. And so now, if you, if any of y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.